And welcome in my ASVAB party people, Coach Anderson here. Hope you're having a good day. In this video here, I'm gonna help you out in terms of if you have any issues at all setting up and solving equations, then this is the video for you. So first things first, as always, we wanna understand what it is that we want. And we always go straight to the question for that. So we can highlight that nice and easy and say, how much money does each person have? So right there in the beginning, we're trying to figure out money but there's also something pretty interesting here because notice that we are trying to solve for two things, how much money Lily has and how much money Ethan has. So when we take that into account, I want you to also notice something really peculiar. Look at the answers. None of them are the same. Like none of the prices or, or dollar amounts for Lily are the same. None of the dollar amounts for Ethan are the same. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that we just have to find one of them. We just have to find either Lily or Ethan, find one or the other, and that's it. Only find one and we're good. So if you didn't know already, this is a system of equations problem because we are trying to find two variables or two unknowns. So we wanna know how much money each person has. We have Lily and Ethan. So I'll just go ahead and say we have Lily and we have Ethan. I'll just put L and E. Let's read the information that we have and see what we can do to set things up. So we have Ethan and Lily are saving up money to buy a new video game console. Ethan has 24 more dollars than Lily and together they have a total of 196. So how do we actually set that up? How do we write that out? I got your back, my party people. So pay close attention here. First things first, I'm gonna highlight in blue that first hint. Ethan has 24 more dollars than Lily. So how do we show that? Well, we use equations. And here's what we're going to do nice and easy. Ethan, so we'll just start with Ethan. So we'll say E has, so that can be the same thing as equals. I can zoom in a little bit to help you see this even better. So Ethan, that's E right here, has or equals 24 more than Lily. So that means we can start with Lily and add $24 to her, and that's the same as Ethan. Again, all we're doing is writing equations here. It's very important that we know how to do this because we'll use this to actually solve. So as always, my part of people, you know I always say this, word problems come in two phases, setting it up and then actually solving and calculating. So you can't overlook one because it helps you with the other. All right, so we have that first hint laid out. Now let's take that second hint. Let me zoom on out a little bit. And I'll go ahead and grab another color here. Let's say we'll grab uh, green and we'll say together they have a total of 196. That tells me that Ethan plus Lily equals $196. So far, so good, right? I didn't tell any lies. I didn't make anything, you know, overtly suspicious. It's just straightforward there, right? Awesome. So we have that going on and that's all the hint that we need because when we take a look at this, we now have what's called a system of equations. So write this down if you need to. System of equations, right there. For my party people that are in my program, this is gonna be found in arithmetic reasoning unit number seven, okay? That's arithmetic reasoning unit number seven. Remember that for those of you who are in the program, you're gonna get thousands of practice questions with step-by-step -step solutions, a ton of those lesson recordings, guided practice videos, worksheets, everything you need is in there. So all you have to do is log into the website and then get started. For those of you who don't have the program, remember that we are having our Memorial Day sale right now. And you can save huge on the best program in the nation, get the score you want and the job you deserve. So there are two ways to do it. You can go ahead and just check the link out in the description of this video. It's right there in there. Go ahead and click it. Nice little video for you to watch and an easy sign up for you and any plan for any affordability. Or if you wanna go ahead and talk to us, go ahead, shoot me a text. Shoot my team a text at 567-698-8867. That way we can help you understand your problems and then help you make progress. We've got your back all the way, my party people. Sign up now, I gotcha. So here we are, my party people, let's solve this system of equations. So we have these two equations. That's why it's called a system. There's more than one equation and there's more than one variable, E and L. How do we take care of this? Well, super easy because we see that 
Ethan is the same as Lily plus 24. So what we can do is replace Ethan right here, replace Ethan with Lily plus 24, and then just take the rest of this and rewrite it. So plus right there, plus Lily equals 196. So all we need to do now is solve this equation. Why did we do that? Why did we substitute or replace Ethan with that L plus 24? Well, it's because now we have one equation with one variable. It makes it so, so much easier to solve now, which is exactly what we wanted. So now combine those like terms. We have L and L, that's gonna give us 2L plus 24 equals 196. Now that we have this, we can continue on by subtracting 24 from both sides, right here and right there. Booyah, that's gonna cancel out on the left side, leaving us with 2L equals 172. And then from here, well, all we have to do now is divide both sides by two, and we're done, and we're set. So as we divide both sides by two, again, another cancellation, and we'll be left with Lily equals what? That's gonna be $86. Booyah, and we are all set. But remember, my party people, there are multiple ways to solve a problem. Another way that you could have solved this was by checking the answer choices. How do you do that? Well, first let me mark the correct answer here, D. But the way that you can do this, if you didn't know how to set all of this up, and so this is a huge piece of advice for you, if you didn't know how to set up a system and you're taking the test for real, you wanna rely on those answer choices. You wanna see which answer choice matches up with what the story is saying. So again, the hints were, Ethan has 24 more than Lily, and together it's 196. So you have to pick which answer shows that Ethan has 24 more dollars than Lily. So you go to A, no, they have the same amount of money, so that wouldn't work at all. You can cancel that out or cross that out. Next up, you take a look at B. Lily has 74, Ethan has 122. Well, okay, if you add $24 to Lily, do you get Ethan? Uh, no, because you add 24 to 74 and you get 98, not 122. So that's not gonna work. Even though these two dollar amounts add up to 196, they absolutely do. Even though they add up to 196, they do not show that Ethan has 24 more dollars than Lily. So that's going to be automatically out as well. We take a look at answer choice C, 62 and 134. Again, these two answers, they do add up to 196. However, is Ethan 24 more dollars than Lily? No, you add 24 to 62 and you're going to get 86, not 134. So that answer is also eliminated. And then if you get to D, you see that if you add 24 to 86, you do get 110. You add these together and you do get $196. And that's how you can confirm by just using those answer choices that you do have the correct answer. Again, huge piece of advice for systems of equations. That way, even if you freak out and have a little bit of anxiety in terms of how to set up and solve, you can still depend on your ability to reason and see if these answer choices fit the bill, if they fit the conditions of the problem. So as always, my party people, you got this. Remember that it takes time to develop these skills. Again, for those of you in the program, this is Arithmetic Reasoning Unit 7. For those of you who are in the program, remember, you can always shoot me a text. I got your back if you ever need help finding anything. And for those of you who don't have the program, take advantage of the Memorial Day holiday sale. It's the biggest sale we have all year. So go ahead, text us at 567-698-8867, or feel free to check the link out in the description of the video so you can find the program, sign up, and start raising your score. My name's Coach Anderson. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.